everybody, welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Today we're taking a look at connecting a membership community app called Circle. You can find Circle at circle.so. And we're going to connect your members to a private podcast. We host a Facebook group called Podcast Hackers. And one of the things I'm really starting to look at is how can we strengthen the community on the Facebook group? Or how can we shift away from using Facebook? Uh, for better or for worse, everyone is on Facebook. And yes, it's accessible and it's free to set this stuff up. But there's a lot of things we want to do to tightly integrate our community with our product, with our content, uh, with some courses and an academy that we have rolling out pretty soon. And Circle.so is one of the platforms that we're evaluating. Circle.so also has a Zapier integration. And it dawned on us that we have a Zapier integration too, and we can connect our Circle.so members to a private podcast, or you can do this too. So if you have a community, maybe you're selling content, you're a coach or something like that, and you want to host a private podcast for just your circle members, this is a great way to do it. I'm going to show you how to do that first, and then we'll dive into the overview of circle.so, what I think about it, and of course, Castos private podcasting. I'm going to make the assumption that if you're somebody looking at circle.so or you have a membership site already running, you know how to connect these things up to Zapier. So I'm just going to show you the Zap overview, and then I will share the Zap link in the description below so you can copy and paste this in your own Zapier account. If you've never seen Zapier before, it's sort of like this glue to connect other applications together. And what it's going to do is take members from the circle.so connection and send them over to your Castos private podcast. Let's take a look at that Zapier. Right now, we're going to go to the setup of it. And it's very simple. It just says when this happens and what is this when this happens, it's a new member added to Circle. And if we wanted to change that, we could. But generally, what we're going to do is say, hey, look, when a new member joins uh, Circle, send them this private podcast link. You could change it if you wanted to. We go back to see what other events are supported here. It's things like new topic is posted, new comment posted, new member added. Obviously, that's the one we want to go with. So let's go with new member added. We'll hit continue. I already have my Circle account set up to Zapier. And that's the assumption I'm making that you know how to do that. You just have to create the API or copy and paste the API key from your Circle account into Zapier. I'm not going to cover that today uh, because it takes a whole lot of editing to, to like block out API keys. So I just make the assumption that you know how to do that. Um, and then what it's going to say is from which community, which community in your circular account are we connecting up here? I'm connecting up our podcast hackers, which you can see right here at the top podcast hackers. And then it's going to find the data and test it out to make sure that it can connect and everything really works. And then we'll hit continue there. What happens when that new member is created? Well, we're going to send it off to a private podcast over in Castos. Same thing. I've already connected up my Castos account with Zapier. I actually have another video for that on this channel, so you can check that video out. And when a uh, and what we're going to say is create a private subscriber. Okay, Circle user is added. It Zapier sends it to Castos. It says, "Hey, Castos, there's a new member over here in Circle. Subscribe them to one of your private podcasts." So I'll hit continue. Again, I already have Casto set up and configured. And what I have it going to in this example is our ultimate episode recording blueprint. It's a five-part audio course on running a perfect uh, interview podcast. And it says right here in the fields, we'll take that Circle SO email and the name that Circle SO is providing to us, and we're shipping it off to the private podcast. So let's take a look at this sign up in action. You'll see how we add a user to the Circle SO community, uh, and then it will automatically send it over to my private podcast. So I've, what I've done is I've grabbed the invite link from my Circle community. I've pasted it in a new browser here, and I'm just going to sign up with an email. I'll just throw in one of my throwaway emails. Click on sign up. So this is a link you might send somebody to sign up. Maybe you have it on your website to sign up for your uh, Circle community, or you can invite people from within the Circle app. Uh, regardless, as long as it's making that new connection, it, Zapier will then trigger the, the sign up to the private podcast. 
Uh, so I'm just going to put Matt as my name. You have to at least put your name in there. We'll hit continue. So you can see now uh, three members in the circle community, all of them being me <laughs> for testing purposes. Uh, let's go ahead and move this browser out of the way. And we will verify within my private podcast down the bottom. Uh, well, actually, first the zap has to run, sorry, because I'm on the free zap. Uh, so it only runs every 15 minutes. But if we force it to run, We'll click on run, boom, 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 trigger one new member. Oh, looking for new members, trigger one new member, done. Close that, and when I refresh this, uh, the email address nrgtech should be subscribed to my private podcast. Boom, there it is right at the bottom. So Zapier, again, makes that connection. New Circle SO member created, send it off to the private podcast. That's it. Um, we're taking community building, um, private courses, education for brands, organizations, people doing this for profit and nonprofit and allowing you to deliver private podcasts to these connected communities. And the glue for that, at least at this point, is Zapier. Uh, we do have some other tighter integrations coming. One we already have ex in existence for member space, which is also uh, pretty popular with the Circle community. And then we also have tighter integrations coming for membership sites on WordPress or membership plugins for WordPress. So look, uh, well, connect to this channel, subscribe to this channel, make sure you get the latest information and stay connected at castos.com uh, for all of your awesome private podcasting uh, connections coming soon. So what do I think about Circle SO? And that's this portion of the, uh, of the video. Uh, I think it's an amazing tool. It's very sleek. Uh, you know, I would say if I were to combine some applications that I use regularly, it'd be like a Slack meets a Notion <laughs> and how it all ties into building a community. So that's the feeling I get from uh, Circle.so. If we go over to their pricing page, just to give you an example, Circle.so starts at $40 a month for 1,000 monthly active members. I don't know, and I haven't drilled down deep enough yet, but if they disseminate between active and non-active. So if I have people who rarely log in, but I have 2000 subscribers or members, do they have to be active? And at what point does that change? Uh, but, you know, moving up to 10,000 monthly active users is twice the price for 10 times the amount of users and 10 times the amount of spaces. Plus, you can do things with API access, et cetera, et cetera. So for $80 a month, you can have a pretty large uh, membership community going in this little private space. That's the pricing uh, overview. But again, like it, this is very easy. On the left hand pane, you have your navigation of rooms or spaces as they might call them. In the center, you're chatting, you're posting comments, you're uploading videos, you're posting photos, whatever you want. As an admin, you can set up important links on the left hand side. So if it's, you know, visiting your company site, like we have Castos, you would click that and go to Castos. If you want to add another link in there, uh, like uh, audience podcast, uh, castos.com slash subscribe, add the link. It just drops it in. Again, uh, fairly intuitive, lightweight, clean. It, you know, it almost looks like Facebook groups meets the Slack uh, type of interface. And if you're the, uh, the admin of the group analytics are super clean, super fast. I can say that, you know, something that we're heavily considering here at Castos to, to move from Facebook groups, you lose that distribution point of people being able to just search and go and find you on Facebook. But if you're doing some strong content marketing with podcasts or, or blogging and things like that, you can certainly drive traffic to this. Uh, I can tell you right off the bat though, as somebody who's involved in, in a bunch of Facebook groups, like you might as an admin, Facebook is slow, <laughs> like Facebook groups, using Facebook, administering the group, you know, going to find members to, uh, you know, either let into the group or, you know, remove from the group. It's just slow. Uh, and it's the interface is slow and you you get ads and you've got all this other stuff pulling your attention in Facebook. And that's the biggest selling point here is when you're building a community, they're hyper focused on the community content. They're not going to be pulled in a different direction. All of a sudden, a Facebook message comes in, a new notification pops up. That's the benefit here. So that's my thoughts so far on Circle SO. I'd love to hear your comments below if you use Circle. And again, private podcasting. 
that's what we love, right? That's what we want to help people uh, add more value to their private podcast. And castos.com slash pricing, you can check out all the features you get with our podcasting accounts. Uh, on the $190 for the entire year plan, you can have up to 100 private subscribers. So if you, you're a, co- a coach, a course seller, a content creator, um, you can pump out some pretty good value. Not only can you have a podcast that gets distributed to the world on the public side of podcasting, you can have these private podcasting things set up through Zapier. So if you're using Circle or selling courses elsewhere that uses Zapier, you can make that connection and really deliver some awesome content uh, to your customers. And the best thing about private podcasting is it's a unique feed to just that individual user. So at any point, If I leave or a member leaves, I can simply remove them from that podcast and they'll never get another podcast from me ever again. So that's the kind of value connection that you can make, uh, you know, by using private podcasting here at Castos. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, If you want to just email me, matt at castos.com. If you want to get some free resources, you want to grade how you are doing with your podcasting journey castos.com slash podcast grader check out that little grading tool that we have it gives you a little uh, grade on your podcasting journey and we will deliver a five episode audio lesson the blueprint course that i mentioned at the top of this video for free delivered to your phone or wherever you listen to podcasts and some other awesome resources we do have notion templates we have ClickUp templates we have google drive or Google Docs templates for helping you set up your podcast. Check it out, castos.com slash podcast grader. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. I'll see you in the next video.